Hello kids and welcome to the land of PVZ and today we will be reading the pesky parrot so kids get ready and let's read the story it was Charlie's crossbones first day as a pirate oh it's like the masked pirate do you remember that story kids he spent the last 10 years at pirate school now he was ready to set sail for the for treasure He knew how to read a treasure map, a lock a chest, and do lots of other piratey things. Even knew how to give a real pirate's laugh. What's more, Charlie had been lucky enough to interrupt Grandpa's old ship and all the gear to go with it. But as Charlie looked at his outfit, he realised something was missing. He didn't have a parrot. At a moment later, Charlie spotted just what he needed. Use parrot sale. Get the bird here. Parrot's going cheap. <laughs> There was parrots of all shapes and sizes. There was only one problem, they're all too expensive. Do you have any do you have anything for a penny? You must be joking, sailor. As Charlie turned to go, the parrot seller called him back. I suppose you can have this one. Charlie had never seen such a pretty parrot as he was amazed of it was so cheap he got a very special bird there said the parrot seller now he had his parrot charlie wasted no time in setting off his hunt for the treasure um out at the sea charlie spotted a ship named fat flounder he knew it belonged to a rich sailor named Captain Silverside. Silverside. I bet that ship is loaded with cash, said Charlie happily. Charlie waited until the sailor had gone to lunch. Then he rode across the ship and sneaked in through and opened the window. Charlie was in luck. He climbed into the cabin where the captain kept his treasure. But... He had only just begun to stuff his pocket with the skull coins when the disaster's disaster struck. Stop thief! Shh! Charlie hissed at his parrot, but it was too late. Charlie took one look at the captain's silver, silver side and ran. Come back here, you sneaky thief! The captain and his and his men chased Charlie. Charlie around the deck six times before the poor pirate escaped to his boat as he rowed back to his ship charlie turned to his parrot with a face like thunder don't ever do that again you pesky parrot he, he scolded but every time they went to sea the parrot caused trouble just as charlie was about to steal someone's treasure. The, par the parrot let out a warning cry. Stop thief! Every each time Charlie only man just managed to escape. Soon he was a nervous wreck. Whenever he tried to get rid of the parrot, he always found his way back to to Charlie's shoulder. As Charlie was eating his supper one evening, he wondered what he could do. He had never felt so miserable, thanks to that pesky parrot. Pesky parrot. He was a useless, particularly pen penniless pirate. Charlie's long face what was making the other customers lose their appetites. The landlords tried to cheer them up. They were so busy talking, neither of them spotted a thief creeping up to the landlord's cash box. 
The next, the thief was just about to swipe all the money when Charlie's parents walked into action. Stop thief! What a wonderful bird, said the landlord. That thief nearly got away with my cash. This gave Charlie an idea. Perhaps he could put his powers to good use at all. The landlord paid Charlie handsomely for his new burglar alarm. Stop thief! And the pirate enjoyed his new job, and Charlie had enough money to buy another bird. A quiet one this time. The end. So kids, I hope you have enjoyed this reading video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.